found this great campsite on Route 2, 273 outside of uh, Woodbury in uh, Vermont, the Green Mountain National Forest, just outside of Bennington. I was going to head home after hiking to Little Pond, actually go to Bennington and hang out and ride some of the roads there and explore the village. But uh, And then I just said, well, I saw this road on the map. I said, well, I'll check it out. And then all of a sudden I found this beautiful campsite along there. It's actually a couple of campsites, but this one was open. I bet someone was here on Friday and Saturday and, uh, you know, with the black flies, they got chased out. But I have the screen tent. I have the, the, the hammock with the screen on it, so I don't mind the black flies. I mean, they're annoying, but as soon as it gets dark out, they go away. You know, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people say, you're crazy, you're wearing shorts. Actually, I was wearing long pants until about uh, two minutes ago, but it was hot, so I said, I'm going to put shorts on. And then I'm going to sit in the hammock for a bit and then go for a ride. I want to explore more of this road. I mean, actually what happened is that it was like 3.30 after I got back from Little Pond and I saw this road in the map. So well, I'll drive down it. Then I found this parking area so that I think, well, I will to work as a campsite. You know, it's a national forest, so they're pretty laid back and where you can camp. Didn't have a fire pit, but it had a decent pull off or a decent uh, place you could pull the truck off and back it off. And I said, well, I could always dig out a fire pit if I wanted one or I don't really have to have one for one night. And I was just right, and I got on the bike, started to ride the road, said, I'll oh, check out what other campsites on. And I just said, discovered this beautiful campsite. Uh, there was no one here. Uh, it was good. Uh, there's some litter that I found uh, in the, the hollow behind the campsite. But uh, that's actually kind of common in these national forest campsites because they all have this elevated thing that the Forest Service does, which makes a great campsite, makes it well grained if it rains. The problem is that you know it encourages people to dump garbage over the side of the hill, but uh, some people are assholes. What can I say? I mean, I can tell you something. If I have garbage, if it don't burn up completely, I pack it out. You know, I don't make leave a mess. I always, and if there's stuff that's reasonable size, and a couple cans or something, I'll pick it up and take it out, and I always try to leave the campsite cleaner than I found it. I mean. When I was building this camping the past two days, I really uh, cleaned the site up well. You know, you barely could tell that anyone had been there. A few of the bushes were knocked down, but they'll regrow quickly because the campsite's well hidden from the road, so no one's going to find it. So it'll just you know, it'll be there untrammeled, and probably by July or August, there won't be any any evidence that I was even there. So one thing that's really cool about this campsite is it has uh, cell service. So if I have a chance to remote work, uh, I could bring my laptop up here. Not during black fly season, or maybe during black fly season if I'm hiding out in the tarp. And uh, yeah, I was so happy because I mean, I, hammock camping was fine, but you know, I like having my truck handy, have the electricity, have all my supplies in the front or in the back here. And then just, you know, if it rains tonight, I don't have to worry about getting soaked. I don't have to worry about running back to the truck like last night and having to try to sneakily camp in the truck alongside the road. Not that there's much difference in camping here, being in National Forest, but. Uh, this is a real campsite, and I was just happy about it. I'm, I'm thrilled that at least I got to camp at a real site for one night. I'm still so bummed out that uh, Somerset Airfield Road was closed, but uh, I had great plans. I was going to, you know, ride that road all day Saturday, go swimming down at the swimming hole on the Deerfield River. I even thought about potentially bringing my kayak and, and kayaking in Somerset Reservoir, but it's good to try to get someplace new. It's great to discover this road here, these campsites. Especially this one, I will definitely probably come back here uh, because it's a nice site. I like like the location. It's close to Bangton. And cell service is a big big plus for work and just because it's nice to be able to you know check social media and uh, be connected. Well, I'm gonna shut the camera off. You've probably seen a lot of this campsite. I'm excited. Got set up. I mean, I usually want to set a campsite this fancy for just one night, but uh, I was excited to be here and. You, need, you definitely need the screen tent and the hammock uh, till, till dark when uh, <clears throat> the bugs are gone. And the screen tent's going to be good for eating breakfast inside tomorrow because, you know, before 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, probably the bugs won't be too bad, but after that, they'll be out in force. Well, I'm wearing shorts and the black flies are killing me right now, so i got to get in somewhere either in the screen tent or the, uh, um, the hammock before I get eaten alive.